Hi there, this is the third of three videos regarding posting groups in WISE. Posting groups map entities like customers, vendors, items, resources, and sales and purchase documents to general ledger accounts. The only requirement for posting groups is that you have a chart of accounts. In our earlier videos, we discussed general posting groups and specific posting groups that connect the general ledger to the sub-ledger accounts. This video will cover the tax posting to general ledger through GST posting setup. Then you will see an example of the scenarios touching all three posting group types. Posting groups are covered under three umbrellas, general, specific, and GST. General, which we have covered, defines who you sell to and buy from, and what you sell and what you buy. You can also combine groups to specify things like the income statement accounts to post to, or use groups to filter reports. Specific, specific, for example, the use of sales documents instead of posting directly to the general ledger when you create entries in the customer ledger. Corresponding entries are made in the general ledger. And today's video, GST. GST posting setup defines the tax percentages and calculation types that apply to who you sell to and buy from and what you sell and what you buy. GST posting groups determine the goods and services tax applied to transactions either through documents such as sales or purchases, as well as calculating the amount of tax it also directs to the general ledger accounts used. You would have seen in the general posting setup video that you can have these GST posting groups apply automatically based on the general posting setup, customers, vendors, plus goods and services. GST business posting groups factor whether you trade both domestically and internationally with customers and suppliers. An example of another GST business posting group that could be used outside of the default setup would be a New Zealand customer who would be taxed at 15% GST. The same would apply for product GST posting groups. To see the two combined, you can either view the setup tab in the ribbon or search GST posting setup. This combines GST business posting groups and GST product posting groups. To map accounts to when you fill in a general journal line, purchase line or sales line, this then translates to the accounts. Tax is applied and accounted against, followed by being referenced from the GST statement report. Lastly, now you will see a scenario utilizing all three posting setup types with a specific focus on how the posting groups are used and map back to the general ledger found in both the balance sheet and income statement. The scenario will be a sale to a customer. From the customer card, the general business posting group and customer posting group are sourced. From the item card, the general product posting group and inventory posting group are referenced. When you create a sales document, the sales header uses the customer card information and the sales lines use the item card information. The revenue posting income statement is determined by the combination of the general business posting group and the general product posting group. The accounts receivable posting is determined by the customer posting group. The inventory posting is determined by the inventory posting group and the cost of goods sold posting is determined by the combination of general business posting group and general product posting group. Finally, the taxation posting of GST account is determined by the combination of GST business and GST product posting groups, as well as the taxation percentage as shown. You can view all this within the preview posting feature in any sales and purchase document or journal. Great, if you have finished watching this video, you now have an understanding of GST, business and product posting groups. If you have finished watching all three videos regarding posting setup in WISE, you now know how to understand all forms of mapping utilized when posting. Connecting your customers, suppliers, items, fixed assets and bank accounts to the general ledger.